Hey yo, it's the Mussolini, aka your boy Moose, man. I'm on that Mike Powers show, you know what we doing. We feeding the culture with that real shit, man. Shout out to my guy, Mike Powers, man. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. For my real hip-hop heads only. My next guest is anything but simple. In fact, he is a riddle wrapped in a conundrum, wrapped in a dichotomy, wrapped in the flesh and bones of an amazingly talented MC. The former Lord Mob affiliate is more than a rapper. He's a lyrical vending machine. I'ma call him Barvana. He's got more style than Armani Exchange and more bars than Irish Spring. The man on the left side of your screen is unapologetically New York and unwaveringly meticulous when it comes to crafting and delivering jaw-dropping gems. And believe me when I tell you, it matters not who the fuck he's standing next to. You featuring next to this guy, pack a big ass lunch, tactical gear, and a healthy dose of humility. How many more examples of lyrical greatness does one have to display before you speak his name in the category for which it belongs? E L I T E. Elite. That's what he is, and it gives me great pleasure for the first time on the Mike Power Show to introduce you to the butane, the spark, and the flame. <laughs> and the standard bearer for all underdogs trying to make it in this rap shit. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it's a fucking train. Ladies and gentlemen, B-boys and B-girls, lovers of all things authentically hip-hop, the gangster officer, and continuing threat to the natural order, Zaza God is in the building. What's up, what's up, man? You know, we top that mic. What up, man? Get busy. Man, thank you for showing up. Zaza, man, it's a lot to unpack. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me start off slow. Where are you from originally? Harlem. 130th and Park Avenue. I was Shout born. to Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got most of my money on um, 125th and Madison Ave. If you know anything about uh, uh, juices of life, that came from fruits of life on my avenue, 125th and Madison. The originators that, you know, they brought it to the Bronx and so forth and so on. But that's where I first met Styles P. You know what I'm saying? That's I first met the locks there. You know what I'm saying? They was kind of, they, they got their bag up and, and brought that lovely, that lovely movement to the Bronx. You know what I'm you saying? Got any got good stories about, you got any good stories about the locks? Well, I got, I, yeah, I got one. Um, I was, I think I was about 17 and um, I seen Kiss. And I seen Styles, and Styles was my favorite rapper ever in life. I mean, my first favorite rapper, you know what I'm saying? But people started to say I sounded like him, my voice and shit. So I didn't really take to that. So I strove to, like, you know, create some different shit. But I seen I seen Kiss, and Kiss had that glow, bro. Like, like that aura, like, like pure white, like, you know, he had the nice chain over everything just... Looked like roses, man. It was beautiful. I always had a thing about me. Like, I felt I was great, so I didn't even want to say what's up. It was a young, childish way of being prideful. You know what I'm saying? So I looked, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be that. I ain't even, you know what I mean? All y'all saying what's up and crowding around them. I'm going to be that. Watch. And I just walked past and kept it moving, but I did embody that moment as being like, that's what you can be. You know what I'm saying? That you looking at proof right there and they right there accessible to you. I also rapped for Styles when I was uh, 16. You know what I'm saying? He was a little busy. He was a little busy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, but it was love. He was like, yo, keep writing, shorty. You nice. Just keep going. I ain't never stopped. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I strongly believe that you one of the illest lyricists that people are overlooking right now. Um, Thank you, bro. Yeah, I mean, I mean that. Um, like one of the, one of the best out right now. Um, where you where you where you at right now? No, I'm moving. That's all. Uh, OG came down with his speaker. Oh, I'm okay. Moving, I'm moving. I'm right here. Okay. Um, the so, um, I think 
how strong you are is evidenced on a song like uh, Opulence. Flow don't stop. Nah, this big building behind me is not Photoshop. I'm on scene like an Autobot. I caught a eye. I swore the box. The cash get more than drops. That's warning shots. 40 off the box. More like Robocop. That's more than hot. How do you describe the vibe on, on Opulence? I kind of like pride myself on not really having a set style. You know, so it's spontaneous. You know, it's it's more or less inspired. Ain't no real strategy. You can't copy it. You know what I'm saying? So with Opulence, I tried to create a whole new style for myself. Mm. Like if I had a style and to move forward with and it would be concrete, it would be that flow, it would be that cadence. Yeah, I mean, you do all kind of different styles. You don't, you're not in no particular box. When did you know that you were for sure going to be an MC? Um, I think when I was on, when I was on the island, I was in a full building. I was in two upper. You talk about Rikers? Yeah, I was on Rikers Island. And, uh, I seen one of, one of, one of the guys, a nigga named Sony. And I was right. I was, I was, I was still young though. I wasn't seasoned. And I thought I had confidence. You know what I'm saying? People always think so you get put in that, that position. You know what I mean? And he really showed me like ways I could get better by, you know, just outclassing me in every area. And I've seen that a lot of people didn't want to rap no more after they was rapping with him. I kept going and we kept rapping. We kept rhyming. I knew it couldn't really compare, but he respected me and told me, you know, don't, I mean, don't think nothing, you know, negative about your own self, about your style because of what I'm doing. You fire, you nice. I woke up the next day and still had the hunger to write. I still had the hunger to keep going with the music and kind of I gravitated to him. So from that, that was like my biggest feat as far as being sensitive and being premature to this rap game. I was able to take that on the chin and grow and learn from it. And it made me it made me want to get the same responses that my guy got, like all the wows and ooh. And oh, that bar, that bar is fine. I, I really had to take it serious. That's my. You know I mean, that's that that's that's my bar right there. The uh, that's the metric that I use when I talk about whether or not somebody is a good MC or not. I say take away the music and let him spit. And how many times did he make me say, "Oh my God," or "Wow," or "Ooh"? That's when you know you got a dope ass MC. You know right. right. That's, that's just that's just my metric. Um. You turned around and absolutely snapped on the song I heard you. First thing, first thing. I was on my own when I was 13. Worst thing, no, they sound good, but I'm working. Word king, might be a word king, my word king. Smooth as Ruger with his shirt clean and dirt clean. I rap like a dinosaur with a voice. It's two back to back convoys when it's war. That features Pro Dillinger and Great Guy. How was it working with them? Um, are all of y'all on that song trying not to get murked by one another? Y'all all ill lyrics. I think, yo, I, I number one, just so the world know, I did I did that to let niggas know I ain't pussy. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to get busy with anybody. I don't give a fuck what you growling like, you heard? So that's number one. Number two, I respected them dudes. Like, if I had anybody I wanted to listen to in my playlist or I'd go search for a new track that came out, it was Pro Dillinger and Great God. I, I see I see Great God as a lone wolf. I see Pro as a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. And we, we, we formed this pack and got the job done. I don't think any of us was threatened. I think we all cocky as fuck. I think we all think we that nigga. You know what I mean? Top of the totem pole. And that's the type of um, echelon type of element I would like to be in at all Listen, times. Pro, you know, that's my man's... Um, and I don't know Great God as well, but I did meet him in Syracuse. Real cool, brother. But just monsters on the microphone, both of them. Um, I'm glad y'all. I hope to see y'all, all three of y'all, on more tracks uh, going forward. Um, I think everybody knows that you were, at some point in time, connected to Lord Mob. First of all, how did that connection come about? I, <clears throat> I, um, I'm with my guys. Street, street shit, man. I'm with my guys. And um, we in City Island. Uh, 
and I see a, a Spanish nigga with uh, old dog braids and a mask on, but I knew who the fuck that was. I mean, because I'm super good with faces, man. I mean, so being that I already was into his music, I just had that nut, that nudge. Like, even if it ain't him, it ain't, I'm saying it ain't going to hurt. You You're talking about Flea Lord right now. Yeah, I'm talking about Flea. So he was with, uh, I think he was with his wife or his baby moms or whoever. So I went up respectfully, yo. Uh, what's up, man? Peace. I mean, just, I mean, saying love. Show, I mean, showing love or whatever. And he was a little standoffish at first. You know what I'm saying? But before, I guess he got his food. And before he left, he doubled back. And he was like, yo, I just want to greet you properly. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I appreciate that. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, yo, bro, I fuck with your music. I do music and all that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got no home. But, you know, if anything, I'll send you an ad. I'll tag you on some music. Let me know what you think. I mean, now, he's like, all right, no doubt. You know, we hear that shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know. I kind of I kind of took him serious, you know? So my men... I'm, I'm with hood niggas that don't really like rappers. So they talking they shit or whatever. And basically it's to the notion of, man, fuck that, man. Do your thing. like. And I'm like, yo, bro, why y'all got to be, you know, like that towards anybody you, you don't relate to or don't know, man? The world is bigger than your block. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what, man? Fuck y'all niggas. Watch. I'm going to be fucking with son in two weeks. Watch. Just because y'all niggas is talking shit. Watch this. And I sent them a few ads, a few tags. He messaged me back. I ended up in the studio uh, at Big French Studio in Harlem. Shout out to Big French. Shout you know? out to Big French. He's like, yo, bro, you gave me goosebumps, man. Like, look, bro, I do that. You know what I mean, that's what I do. So he like, yo, bro, you want to get on this track? I'm like, why the fuck not? <laughs> you heard? I had to cook up right there. I cooked up. Big French was right there. I cooked that up about 10 minutes. What's good, man? Yo, um, big French. I mean, uh, pardon me, Mike Powers. Yeah. This is a big, heavy clothing designer, man. Let him know your name real quick, man. Che Young, bro. Che Young. What's che your Young. IG? What's your IG? C H E Y O U N G. Official. Tell him um the the bike how you make oh, yeah, the clothes. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff like Jake Paul, YouTuber, and the boxer. I do a lot of stuff to him. Like I'm his, I'm his stylist and his designer. So I design all his fight shows, all that stuff. Word. Man, you're gonna connect. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm a, uh, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna send you a message. We'll talk. I bet. Let's do it, bro. Let me ask you a question. Right, do you remember when you and I first met? First face met to, face to face. Was that was that at the studio with Arkin and him? Yeah, it was in Brooklyn. Okay. It was in Brooklyn. I remember mm -hmm. I met you. I didn't, I don't even know if I knew you was gonna be there. There was a lot of people there. Um I think AC Hoodfellow was there. Arkin was there. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicole was there. Nicole Porter. Um, and I know I talked to you outside the studio about how much I believe in what you do. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I told you then and there. It's been a, So it's been a long time for you to actually show up and be here. Um, now you're no longer with the mob. Was it just um, time for you to explore other options or what went wrong in your opinion? Will you really, will you master your craft and people uh, just meet you? What's up, Chip? How are you, bro? I'm on this interview real quick. Okay. Uh, um, you, master, you master your craft or whatever, and people are just meeting you. They might do the same thing as you. But it's going to take time for them to know how serious you take your craft. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take time for them to know how much you took your craft serious. So I think at first when um me and Flea met, I don't think I, I gave him the idea that I really took rap serious. Like, and when I started, you know, trying to, you know, make my 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 moves and make my connections and dots, I could understand, I could overstand rather how he seen it as being thirsty. I'm gonna keep it real. He's seen it as being thirsty. And to me, I never, I never had my cup filled. So it kind of, I mean, you could perceive it as such, but we all got to drink water, man. Sometimes you need water, man, you know? So I felt like I was just trying to get my beak wet and show people what I could do and how good I am at my craft. 
sometimes that could be a threat. That could be seen as too big of an issue. And, w- and which is one of the reasons why I always said I would never sign to a rapper. You know what I mean? Because you got the CEO business-minded them, then you have the competitive rapper mind in them. So a lot of, a lot of especially the younger the younger guys, it's hard for them to put the rapper them in their pocket and be a CEO and be a boss, like, and not worry about this guy's talent maybe surpassing your own. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, the, where he could be 10 years from now. You got to just have faith as the artist have faith in the label he's signing to or dealing with. So a lot of things was, um, it was lack of communication. And then, um, how could I say like falsify communications and sucker shit involved not really from me or him per se just a lot of people had their stake in, in, in for me to lose bro you know what I'm saying they didn't really want me at that at that peak because I guess they felt like they deserved it yo who this guy who's Zaza he just got here you know what I'm saying I've been doing this I've been doing that but you know it ain't where you from it's where you at and I feel people should have been paying more attention to my, my work ethic, how much workload I'm willing to take on and seeing that as a future endeavor uh, as, you know, opposed to that being a threat to somebody else's lack of work or, you know, lack of due diligence. It just was out of pocket. So, you know, I ain't going to get too personal, but, you know, I had to do my thing. I can't stop. You know what I'm saying despite what the naysayers is saying, I can't stop. Do I have hatred for the boy, Flea Lord? Nah. Um, do I? Is there a big gap there, big realm of misunderstanding, and I don't get what the fuck you was thinking? Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. if, he, if he watching this shit, I would definitely like to highlight him. I would definitely like for him to highlight me on, on grown man timing, bro, because it was built off of love. It was built off of honor, or so I thought. You know what I mean, so if we could, we could speak, and pancake this shit out. I mean, throw some syrup, have breakfast, and move on, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I talk to a lot of people, uh, as you can imagine, in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, I have heard reports about something, and maybe you could confirm or knock this rumor down for me. I had heard reports that something, um, I, I don't know if you was involved or not, but I tend to remember that your name came up. Something at a hotel. You know anything about this? Where you would? You, I I I was at a all um, hotel with the Lord Mall members, but what exactly was was said? I don't. I don't. I what I'm hearing is that there was um, certain shit was paid for, maybe rooms or something like that, and mm-hmm. then maybe Lord Mob wowed it out at the hotel. Is that is that a true? <laughs> I don't know. That didn't happen. Hell no. Lord Mob artists never did nothing wrong at that hotel. It was never no altercations. The only thing I I, I think that might have occurred was somebody I think might have been smoking in the room. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as wilding out and I don't know, nah, I wasn't I wasn't there for that. If they were, you know what I'm saying I'm going to keep it 100. I went to the hotel and I like almost immediately got sick. You know what I'm saying. So I was sweating crazy in my sleep, fucking pounds of sweat. Maybe I caught the corona and didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't feeling well for most of the trip. So it was like, it seemed like I was being standoffish. So I wasn't trying to hang or, or be around, but I really wasn't feeling well at all. You know what I'm saying? So as far as that, though, niggas wilding out, doing something like that, hell no. To be honest, most of the Lord Mar members was walking on eggshells, man. When you mean, say walking on eggshells, what do you mean? Like niggas didn't want to make Flea mad, bro. Niggas wasn't trying to do shit to 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 get him mad at them. Like it really, and me, I don't, I'm never gonna be. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm never gonna be like that. I mean, I'm 36 years old. I got a child, and my child honor me like the man I am, and I honor other men as the men they am. I'm not gonna put myself in a childlike position for some type of game minimal gain so i never understood that and they never nah they never wowed that bro 
bro. They never wowed out, bro. They was really like, you know, grown childlike minds in that element when it was uh flea and and, and me fucks and these and these dudes, bro. Like they ain't want to shake the ship. They didn't want to make nobody mad, bro. None of that, bro. Word. So that's that's no good. They ain't do that. Um your social media is mad spicy. I mean, it is on uh, a May 3rd IG post, May 3rd, 2022. You said, quote, we bringing that vibe back to NYC. We going to need a break from all that drill shit and auto tune shit. Right. So tell us how you really feel. I mean, I don't got nothing really. I guess a it's, it's not really new, but it's a wave. I right, like I don't I don't rep, I don't really like the content. I mean, it's not more so the sound. The sound is catchy. I ain't gonna lie. I catch myself moving sometimes to this shit subconsciously. So I'm not gonna ever hey like it's not a good rhythm or good bop, but the content is disgusting, man. It's disgusting, bro. I, I like, agree. I, I can't I can't uh push the narrative. It's, I can't do nothing with it. Me being a grown man with some sense, I can't do nothing with it. I can't even emulate the packaging. You know what I'm saying? I can't do any of the dances. It's just, I don't know, man. I, I just can't really get right with it. If they start putting more thought into it, some more, I guess, consciousness into it, then maybe I could gravitate to it. But nah, man, it's like that shit is an infection, bro. And it's like, you got to do that to pop. You got to do that to like get recognized on, on a certain level like like nah man it's real rap out here you know it's still beautiful grown men out here and standing on principles and whatnot so i fuck with that man i don't yeah. no that disrespect a, that, yeah that but, post was really i mean i think your, your chest was poked out on that post you ever worry that some of these drill cats will see you want to pop off on you Bro, when you, when you a say lot of these, like drill, a lot of a lot of a lot of these drill cats, I know a lot of these drill cats. Like, if trust me, if it's a problem, like if it's really like that, like you'll see something happen, bro. Like to me, this shit is rap. If I get the vibe that a nigga's on some type of street shit, or they feel they got to get in the street etiquette with me, I'm gonna show them why it's levels. Like this shit is Instagram, bro. I'm on there. I'm talking my shit about rap. You niggas is actually talking about killing niggas' mamas on the track. You really offended, bro? You really offended that I'm talking about uh, uncertain your music and inserting minds? This is this is this is battle in the right format. This is war in the mental format. If you want to take it to some ignorant shit, we could do that. We're gonna do that right. Don't tag me. Don't at me. Don't put me in no blogs. Nigga, because I'm going at you. I'm going to tag you in real life. So we don't need no we don't need no precautionary measures to snitching, bro. You heard? Because that's Feel all you. that shit be, you know? So, nah, it ain't no... I ain't worried about these young drill niggas. If anything, they're going to they gonna get next to me with a misunderstanding, and I'm going to give them the understanding. If, you know, if they still want to be physically disruptive, then go ahead. But I gave you an understanding, yo. This is all music. I love y'all niggas, but y'all sound stupid. Uh, it seemed like for me, following you on IG, I don't get as much time to scroll as I used to. But the one thing I noticed about, noticed about your IG is that it seemed like after you moved away from the mob, it seemed like a lot of your posts kind of was taking shots sort of directly, sort of indirectly. And it, it seemed like that went on for a long time. Um, like, were you trying Man, to? I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, I keep it a rack with you, bro. I was really bothered, bro. Like, like I ain't like I'm grown as fuck, bro. I ain't never really. Not even gonna say never, but it's been a long time since I had my feelings hurt by grown men or by another grown man. Cause I never gave a fuck. You know what I'm saying I'll do it to you first. You feel me? But I felt like. I found I, I didn't I didn't even know this 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 realm of rap really existed. You know what I'm saying? So I thought, oh shit, I, it's a group of real niggas. Like it's a group of it's solid niggas. Niggas gonna go to bat. We gonna go back. Nigga, play with us. We gonna go. We we taking this shit over. I really felt that way. I put this. If you listen to my tracks, man, 
I can't even really push none of it. All of it got Lord Mob in it. All of it, I'm saying Lord Mob. I put that shit on my back, bro. Girl, I lit the fire again. And I'm never going to take that from myself. I ain't going to let nobody take that shit from me. I know what I do. I know what my purpose was. You feel me? It's just that I'm, I, I felt away because nobody thought I was more than that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody thought I had more to offer than that, bro. You, you, know you, you, like, you, you wanted them to see what you were saying on yeah. IG. I wanted, of course, of course, because I didn't, I didn't um, block nobody. Uh, did I? I don't want to lie. I don't think. Oh, I, I, I blocked Funk P. That was, I think that was it. He said some. Matter of fact, I'm lying on that. He said some crazy under a post. I went to his DM and the scene I was blocked. You know what I'm saying? I guess he felt a way about what you're saying. Like, he, he, I guess he felt the shots I was taking. Mind you, I don't even know, boy. Like, we met one time. We don't have too many conversations or circumstances. So I ain't talking to you, but I guess, you know, my, my post served, served this purpose. But I don't have no way of really communicating or reaching. I wanted people to know I felt the way. I wanted, to, I wanted people to know that, you know, I am aggressive on the mic and, and, and with a purpose, whether I'm with Lord Mob or I'm not with Lord Mob. I'm still nice. I'm still Zaza God. I still stand on my own 10 toes. And I was doing that before then. And mind you, let me say this shit. I've been a fly nigga all my life. I've been putting that shit on all my life. Them niggas ain't put me on. Them niggas ain't put no shit on my back to make me look. I, I came in doing this. I came in doing this. That's why I put in my track. Nigga, I got money and never chose to speak. It ain't honor amongst thieves. So I hold the seat. I'll flip every leg on this table and let it go for cheap. You feel me? Like, you ain't got, listen, can I hear the rest of that verse? Can I please? <laughs> Chill, let's go to the combo, man. Let's go to, <laughs> you feel me? Let's go to you the combo. Because I man. love hearing got you it. rap. I let's love go, hearing you rap. Oh. Hey, um, so we had a point now we letting sleeping dogs lie because that's one of my questions was would it have been easier just to let sleeping dogs lie? I, yo, bro, I did, but how the fuck it? Yo, I'm a key. Yo, you don't. I was in Lord Mall for three months prior to my knowing. How you think I felt? The niggas had a man, listen, man. I'm a keep it a rack, nigga. I don't. Niggas had a dinner about Zaza God and how he not gonna be Lord Mall, bro. Three months before I even fucking knew, bro. I ain't trying to hear that shit because I only was honorable with niggas, man. What I felt, I told niggas. What I didn't feel, I told niggas. So I ain't honor that shit, man. I'm a, I'm a human. I'm not no, I ain't no product, nigga. I didn't meet you under some rap circuit and some chitlin circuit in the show. I met you at City Island. You was with wifey. I was with my guys. Don't do that to me. Because I would somebody... never let nobody play with Flea Lord like that. That's why I took, that's why I took it so offensive. I wouldn't let nobody play with that nigga. Nigga couldn't talk bad about Flea Lord. I'm going to punch you in your mouth. I'm on that type of timing, bro. He know that. And I'm like, yo, bro, what's the, what's the problem with that? Is it because I'm not from Far Rock? Is it because I'm not from your area and I'm from the Bronx? I know how this street shit go. I know how this inner city shit work, bro. But I got love for my Far Rock niggas too. Mom, come fuck with me. Ask him. You ever, you ever talk to Flea on your own time? Ask him how many times I've reached out. Yo, come fuck with me, bro. Come fuck with me or I'll come wherever you at. You know, but it's, I got to understand when you're making certain money and you're making certain moves, you got to be precautious. You got to be strategic about where you're going to be, who you're going to be with, and also who you're going to shed a light on. Because will they shed that light back on you? And all I was trying to do was show them by stamping Lord Mob so much, saying it so much, putting it in so much that you don't got to worry about that shit with me, dog. I'm here. Like, I'm here, here. I'm not these niggas. You said they had a dinner discussing that you was no longer... Wait, <laughs> that's, somebody... what got, that's what got back to me, man. I mean, so... That's what got back to me, bro. It was a dinner and and people that I... Re it, and, and the dinner involving certain people I know wouldn't even speak right about me. Mind you, I gave niggas a look. I gave certain videographers a look. Niggas ain't wasn't even looking at niggas. They smelling bad, looking bad, doing bad. You heard? Yo, come with me, bro. We 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 gonna go. We gonna go to Quads and make you a star for real. We gonna go to Quads and make you a star for real. 
And niggas know what I'm talking about when I'm speaking what I'm speaking right now. Niggas know what I'm talking about. And I ain't get nothing but smut in return. I ain't get nothing but dirt in return. And I didn't speak on a lot of things, star. I just, you know, I, I grazed the leg or something. I ain't, I ain't shoot no direct shots. I ain't shoot no missiles for real. You feel me? People are still able to be who they are and who they really not, <laughs> you know, simultaneously, you know. And, you know, that's just it. But between me and Flea Lord, I got love for him. I have to honor the fact he even gave me a platform to speak my voice. And anytime he called me, nigga, need me, I'm going, I'm going to be here. But I don't appreciate that shit. That's it. You did. That was a lot right there. But look, listen. Yeah, they going all digested, though. That's why I put it. You know, you got to hit the rewind on YouTube. So it get people. With you. Yeah, play it back. You might have missed something. Give my son another two, three views. I know you want to show somebody the video, too. So that's another five views. Listen, <laughs> hey, listen, listen. So let, let me just say this. So full disclosure, you even mm -hmm. came at me on my IG page. You remember that shit? No, the fuck I did. Yes, you did. What I said, Mike. <clears throat> One day I posted a playlist. I'm live on Saturday. Sometimes, not every Saturday. I'm live on Saturdays. The next day, days after, I post a playlist. What did I play on my show? And you was on my page. You said, "Oh, you only play nigga. You only you, you only play niggas at the door, mob." Now, like you were saying, <laughs> I wasn't playing you because you wasn't with the mob no more. What you were saying? Listen, and I didn't say nothing back because I don't I don't go back and forth on front pages and shit like that. But I mean, it was it, the the situation was political, right? I mean, for me, right. You understand the position. I, I, I felt, in. I felt, you know how I felt though? <laughs> I felt like not, I didn't feel like that was coming at you. I feel, I do feel like it was applying pressure, mm. but I felt it was good pressure because I just wanted to nudge you like, yo, I know, you know, I don't fuck with the mob no more. I know, you know, certain things is taken about, but, but also know I'm seeking your attention, brother. Like also no, I did warrant that. Like I, I, I admired that. And that was, um, you know, a little streamline to give me fuel to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, don't take that shit from me, bro. Let me let you know that it was important to me. I mean, mm -hmm. let me let you know that it mattered. You know what I'm saying? But also, let me let you know that I don't give a fuck if I'm Lil Marv or not. I'm going to keep putting out good music, and eventually you'll see, you'll fuck with me, and you know. I respect it. When I read the shit, when I see it, I was like, ah. Because the average motherfucker, they won't want to. They gonna say something right back, or they gonna go right to the DMs and stuff. It's like I was in a particular position at the time, right? We knew we know about that, and that's you know what I mean. It would have it would have had me in a real funky situation. I didn't know the circumstances X Y Z, right? And now I'm no longer, you know what I mean. Respect to the mob, but I'm no longer affiliated. And so once I was no longer affiliated, and the politics didn't apply. You know, I spoke to you, and I let you know again how much I, I admire Yo, you. Let me ask you. Let yeah. me ask you one question. Pardon me, like, because I don't, I don't really know. Like, is like, is the mob? Is that shit still a thing? Like, your mob. Yeah, like not. I know the label, but like you remember, it was all, it was all of us, like uh, Ito, I kill Shady, a, a bunch of us, like Funk P. I don't really see like the name on that much people shit like that. Like I used to. Um. Well, as far as every single crew is out there, I'm, I'm not. A lot of times, I'm not privy to the inner workers. You got the cloth. You got other crews out there. You got Umbrella, which we know about. Lord, yeah, Mob. shout I out just, Umbrella, man. Shout out Umbrella. I'm just, I'm just not hip to what the inner workers of of Lord Mob is. Uh, I see a few people coming out with certain projects. I see Flea Lord is obviously dropping projects. I, I have peeped that. In terms of the movement, I don't know really what's. Going. I know some people have left. You're not the only, or they're not with the mob anymore. I know there's some people that used to be with the mob that's not with the mob anymore. Um, but I happen to know a few people. You know what I mean? Bangs is is the is the homie. You know what I mean, me and Bangs was cool before. Shout out Bangs, man. Shout out yeah. Bangs, man. Yeah. Word. So I don't know what, what she's doing right now, but I don't know that she's affiliated. So, but it's, 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 it's all love. I just wanted to, I just thought that was funny when you came at me on my page, but it was all, it's all love. I never take nothing personal. I really don't. Um, I'm glad you don't, bro. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. meant that. It wasn't meant like that. I just wanted, I always tell people I love artists. Sometimes people, uh, it'd, be, it'd be a famous person here. I'm around famous people sometimes. Sometimes I'm around people that's a little bit less. It don't matter. I be falling in love with the art of what people do, right? So it's like, it's some people that 
I might not even like them personally, certain people. We're not talking about lower my people, but I love their music and I play their music just on the strength that they they hot ass artists. Do you think there are people who know you who are afraid of you? <clears throat> say you do, do I think that they're say say the question again? Do, do do you think that there are people that know you that are afraid of you? Of course. Of course. I think all these niggas know me. I think all of them know me. And I think it's just a matter of time before people actually, like, I, I'll say it's, it could be a detriment, but I don't really be in a lot of these rap circuits, a lot of these spaces and places I may should be as a rapper. And I will give it that, but, and it's kind of hindering to getting, letting people, maybe those that are in fear of my talent know, like, bro, I'm, I'm um, conducive, like, I'm I'm a um, attribute what you're doing. I'm I'm gonna contribute to what you're doing rather than trying to take something over or destroy something. And that's what this last project is about too. I got Pep Five Seven on it. Um, he he fucks with the Trust Gang. Shout out Thirty Eight Special. Them. Shout out Thirty Eight Special. Um, I got Isis Asset. She's from uh Britain. Um, overseas fire. She's uh very frequent on her posting on her putting out music and she's definitely gaining her leeway uh we got all um, you know great god pro dillinger on that joint we got my boy uh cuts diego you know what i'm saying he's out there he's killing on the underground um so i'm trying to show my feature game and how i could contribute not really take over the music but how we blend it together and merge and make something great for both parties we all shine i mean i think people see my 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 talent as more or less taking over than contributing. You know what I'm saying if I got my own. That's what they supposed to think. You're a fucking monster on the goddamn mic. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. You're a threat. Yeah. You're a threat. You're a threat. I've been in the studio with you. I've seen you working inside the studio. I've seen you write. I've seen you sitting on the couch writing some shit. I spoke to you. We had spoke before you went back in there. But then when, when you in there, you was working on your shit. You wasn't really trying to you know what I mean? Everything was focused on that page. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I watched you go in and I watched you lay that down. It was it's, it's a phenomenal effort. You a real fucking artist. You adhere uh, to the protocols of this hip hop shit. I respect that. You know what I mean? Um, you snapped on IG saying cats you did work with don't promote the single. Right. Are you talking to the producer superior on that post? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I was okay. actually... I got songs with artists you most people wouldn't even believe. Like, you know what I mean? And I just be getting mad that the songs isn't being pushed. Like, I ain't going to say no names because they all still good friends. I don't want to make it yeah. look like I'm talking down about what they're doing. But it's it's just that, bro, like, if the people was able to see these songs or hear these songs, you know, it will show the elevation. It will show the growth. And it also showed that I'm networking and doing my due diligence as well. So it's kind of it's kind of setting me back that they choose not to put these songs out or they choose not to, uh, you know, promote the song, period. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's where really that came from, man. Just certain rappers, man. Also on IG, you said in part, I swear I won't let them get the best of me. I know who who each and every one of you are that are wishing me hell. And those wishing who who wishing you hell? Let's go back to the lower mob situation. It's something different. A lot, oh it, it, it got it got some some root in that, but also some root in my present day occurrences and acquaintances. Like, you know, I was I just I've just been dealing with a lot of gaslight and a lot of a lot of hyping scenarios up and things just cease to exist or, or don't come to fruition. So, you know, I was just a little, I don't know, like I was just a little taken back, you know what I'm saying, by the whole scenarios that was going on, man. Like if I say something, I mean it, I'm going to do it. If I make a promise, I'm going to be there for it or and honor it if I can't. It's just certain precautionary measures I take to make sure my relationship stays solid that others I see don't take. And they tend to lack in that area, and them things mean a lot to me. What's the ticket for that Balenciaga coat you had on in the lower call video? The ticket? 
What's the ticket? How much that joint cost? That Balenciaga coat. I, I mean, I, got, I just got my tax returns back. You know what I mean? You never, I, I might try to do something. You know what coat I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> you don't want to talk about the it price? Was it, was it was, I'm going to put, it was touching three beds. Ooh, I can't afford it. I got a car payment. I can't fuck with that. I can't touch fuck with it. Beds. You wear it well, though, sir. Um, <laughs> yo, I, yo, to be honest, it's so real. I, I never wore it again. After that, the video that y'all see it in, I never wore that jacket again. You know what I'm saying? It just, I would have to get some other cream Balenci's. Like, I just didn't, it, w- it would be like me putting down the same outfit again. It's so, it's, I mean. It's, it's a lot happening with that, with that piece. You don't want to just be rocking that all the time. Yeah, you yeah, ain't yeah. some shit you just wear. I go to, I go to somewhere real, real, real nice or something. I yeah. throw that joint down. I got other things like, you know. Sounds like God, man. That's what yeah. I do. Man. Real shit, though. Yeah. Um, Akil Ali was in that video. Did the connected with him on a record just seem natural? Connected with him as a person seemed natural. But you know, it's consistency is key. That be consistency is key. Not not just with the world, being with me, like. If we go do something and we edit, it, we just go create it. We go create it and present it. And you know what I'm saying? Package it and do everything we're supposed to do with it. It started to seem like we was just making music, just, you know, putting it in a stash. If you see, I put the track on Mob Talk on uh, Omnipotent. But if you look on any of his joints, any of his projects, ain't none of our songs on there. So I had to just, you know, pay attention. Like, I don't feel personal. It's all business. I mean, so didn't y'all do a whole ten- project together? We were supposed to, but that was hated on. I mean, mm-hmm. Where, what, why do I have Chinese food and rose in my head? What is that? That was our that was our first single. And that but was, really, yeah, really, that was my single. Only right and Chinese food and rose was going on my first project. The only right goes so hard. Yeah, man, that's timeless. That's gonna rock forever. What do you mean? That shit go hard as fuck. Yeah, that's gonna rock forever, man. Hey, um, and I ain't even, I ain't put no bags. Just to let the people know, I ain't put no bags behind this music, man. I mean, I ain't put no paid promo, paid advertisement, no marketing strategies, nothing. Just straight pushing, straight organic. And on um, these projects, I would say touching about a hundred thousand streams, just do uh the digital platform. We're not counting my YouTube views and, and things like that. That's not even counting that. I mean, how, uh, what we do uh, a day in the life of Zaza. How does it start? Man, that shit could be me, uh, waking up, arguing with my woman. <laughs> and or, all of us, right? Yeah. You feel me? Um, but nah, nine times out of the 10, I'm really uh, wrapped around this music and the background to the music because I'm I'm really a one a one stop shop. I do everything myself, so it ain't really no days off. You know what I mean? So right now, what what I'm working on is the video for uh, "Heard You." So great song. Done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we got we got DJ Premier. It's the third week he's uh spent it. I mean, third week is in his playlist. I saw so. you posted that. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm just looking for one more week. I get um I get a month straight with this one song. I'm I'm good. You know what I'm saying? That shit is a, a accolade for me. You know what I mean, Premier is definitely big homie. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, um, so do you, do you think it's important to to really be from the life that you talk about on wax as, as far as any MC I'm talking about? Um, we don't really expect those guys to do everything that they say on a track, but generally speaking, you expect motherfuckers to keep to their character what they what they portray on wax. I think it do matter that you be authentic and be true to yourself because can't nobody call you when you're your own shit. It's your shit. You know what I'm saying? You own your shit. It's hard to own somebody else's persona or the way somebody else rap or the way somebody else dress or the way somebody else talk. You don't really have no true ownership. That shit could be stopped once the trend fade, you fade. You know what I'm saying? Once the way these people dressing, they stop dressing like that, 
people stop gravitating to what you bring into the table. Now, if you being you, yeah, if you being you, you infinite. You're an infinite being, man. You, you, only those connected to the source could be them because they done dealt with they self. They in the being. They done got right with the source. So with that being said, a lot of people running around here with no identity. So it's only right they amalgamate personas and put things together to make themselves something that they not. Right. That's why this real shit is real. You know, this real shit is real. It's real murderers that rap. It's real robbers that rap. It's real niggas that's in and out of jail that don't play no games that rap. And you know what? Some of them niggas got female songs. Some of them niggas got dance songs. Some of them niggas is is you wouldn't even think that. You know what I'm saying? They not they not pushing that and being braggadocious about it. It's just life. It's what we gotta do. It's what we had to do. I mean, so you're not going. You, you'll know I'm from that, but you know I'm not promoting that as a way of life. You know what I mean, so I feel like I'm keeping the kids safe. I'm keeping everybody safe. I'm giving the lessons with this shit. You know what I mean, some niggas just get on the track every track. I'm going to gun you down and I'm going to run you down. This niggas is, is really going to work every day, like on time. I'm saying they don't even want to hop the train. They don't want to get a ticket for drinking outside in public. They not really like that in the least bit. That's when it gets nasty, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah. Um, how important is it that New York keep its identity in hip hop? Super important, and that's why nobody respect us. And I'ma let niggas know. I don't give a fuck how much money you got on your block, how much your niggas is making you feel gassed up. When you leave out of this bubble called New York City, you will see niggas don't respect you. They may fear you. They may. And it's not even that they fear us. They don't know us. We got so much shit. To, we like a uh, what they call that shit. Uh, them, them, you know, them pocket knives that got like nine different fucking Swiss things. Army knife joint. Yeah, we we like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so niggas yeah. don't know what they're going to get from a New York. nigga. So with that, people will always stand off or show or whatever. But niggas are giving to you. In the country is place or the country is place, no matter where you from. One more question before we get out of here. Um, who is the voice of hip hop? Who's the voice of hip hop right now? Yeah. You mean, oh, uh, well, besides myself, I feel. Um, damn, that's a tough question. Well, I would have to I would have to say, you know, on real timing, man, like I got to give it I got to give it to Benny. You know what I'm saying I got to give it to Benny. Benny. You feel me? Um, Everybody is it's not even really so much like my 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 decision or how I feel like everybody that wants to tap into the hood or tap into what's going on in the streets right now seems to be tapping into Benny. I mean, seems to be riding on his words and, and, and really like oh, all right all right and they, they emulate and a lot of i see it you feel me so um i gotta give it i gotta give it to benny you know what i'm saying as far as the voice right now you know what i'm saying now Word. i got two i got two nicknames one of them is the intro king people know they, they said yo your intro is better than sway you know respect this way but that's what some people have told me so i also got another nickname the other nickname is the voice of hip-hop Mike Powers Global is the voice of hip hop. AK Mike Power Global, aka Intro King, aka the voice oh, this of hip hop. Call me with the riddle trick. Oh, okay. It's oh, all okay. good though. No, yeah, nobody, like nobody, nobody gets it the first time. Nobody gets it the first. I was that in was Syracuse good. with my niggas. I asked five people in Syracuse. Nobody, nobody knew. They was like, "Oh yeah, you is the voice of hip hop." I am the voice of hip hop. I hold this shit Yo, down. Correction, right correction, y'all. Correction, man. Mike Powers official wet tissue. That's the voice of hip hop. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Part of my soul on that, man. Big correction. Respect. It's nothing but love, Za. And thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for showing up. I know you're about to light it up. Your journey is far from being over. Um, if this was 1994, I wouldn't even be able to get you on screen right now. That's how big you would be. Like, you a monster on the fucking microphone. Um, thank you, brother. And you see I've been playing you. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when mm-hmm. I play you, the, the people love it. So you you already know what it is. Keep shooting that to my DM and we oh, gonna keep oh, on yo, it. Just one more thing, man. I'm about to drop. I mean, I, I got all the all the all masters. I mean, everything about to get uploaded. I mean, so from whom all blessings flow, I mean I will drop. We're gonna have the physicals, the vinyls, and the uh, CDs coming out on Coca Reef Records. You know what I mean? And we also gonna drop Omnipotent, the physicals on Coca Reef Records as well. You know what I'm saying? So all y'all that want to hear Zaza, Mike Powers, man, let them know, man. Tap in. I mean, get they shit first because when it's sold out, they're going to have to hold out. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, them is going to be collectibles. Believe me. Believe me. Yeah, man. Yeah. Zaza, thank you so much, bro. It's love. Salute to you. Appreciate you, man. You already know, man. Mike Powers, I'll see you soon, brother. Yes, sir.